It is five o'clock and uh, I, are you guys ready to get started? I think so. Um, 715 right. here in New Jersey. Okay. okay, so this is Women in Art. Five of us from ASF, we're, we're across four different time zones all across the United States. And uh, the more, <laughs> we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna Start by introducing everybody just a, a quick second and then Lamar is going to hit us off and we're going to go from east coast to west coast so Lamar okay uh, so I am Lamar Deckel um, I live in Maryland so east coast um, and uh, I'm going to show you some artworks uh, and I'm going to start so uh, after we're going to go around so go ahead Hi, I'm Tatiana. I'm here in New Jersey where it is 8 p.m. And um, I've got some artwork for you too. And um, this is going to be a fun night. So I hope you brought a glass of wine or invited some friends and you enjoy what you see. There you go. There you go. There, got the idea. Okay, Beth. Beth. Okay. Get, I'm, I'm mute. She, she froze for a second. Okay. Beth, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, oh, I'm Beth, Beth. and um, I am okay. from. I'm you. I did. You got my for a second. I did. I'm. Okay. Am I back? Yeah, you have a towel. And I am from. You got to turn off your Facebook. I did. I'm. Okay. Something's Sorry. going. Something weird's okay. going on. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you now. Yes, you yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm Beth and I'm from Texas <laughs> and um, I am a fine art photographer and I do both photography as well as digital photography paintings. So I am excited to be here. Katie? Hi, I'm Katie Neely. And so is Katie. Out in uh, out, uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And today I'm gonna be showcasing some of my martial arts painting series. And I'm happy to be here. And I'm Kim Winberry. I'm in California, way on the West Coast, so I'll be last up. Um, I am a watercolorist, and I have an endangered series, endangered species series to present to you that is painted on textured gesso panels. It's really, really different. So uh, stick around. All right. So Lamar, we're, I'm going to put the emphasis on you, and you are ready to go. Great. Okay, so I am Lemore Deckel, um, and I have been an artist basically all my life. My whole family I, is uh, from an artistic background. I've been teaching art in the public county, uh, public school in the county where I live. And just recently I've decided that I am going to bless the rest of the world with my art. I'm not going to just keep it in my basement. Um, I'm just going to go out and market myself, and this is what I'm doing. Um, so uh, basically my artwork is inspired by my experiences. I grew up in Israel. Uh, I've, I've, been, I've lived here for about 30 some years, and um, my art is very personal. Um, it's, it comes from experiences that I have, of things that I like to do, events that happened to me uh, from my past, uh, passions that I had, and things of that nature. Um, but recently I've been discovering that my art is a lot about the relationship between people and nature. And uh, I've been doing a lot of acrylic painting uh, recently. And today I'm going to show you some of my artwork that I've done a few years ago. Um, some was in uh, watercolor and some with uh, acrylic. Um, I am offering my artwork this evening uh, for a special price because I am going to make a little shift in, with my work and uh, some of the art that I've, I'm going to uh, present tonight is, is framed. Most of it is framed and ready to go on the wall. And, um, and I've used them in, in some art shows in the past and I'm ready to move, move it on and, uh, and offer it to you for a special value. So I'm going to start with um, a first one that is actually not an original because the original is sold. Um, but um, it is actually, I'm going to move it up here. I have two limited editions uh, of this painting, of uh, this painting. This is the painting that is sold, is ready to be 
delivered to a um, to the owner. Um, and I just want to show you how similar the print is compared to the original. Okay, so I have two limited editions. Uh, they are signed, uh, numbered with my special um, print. Um, my last name is Dekel, and it means a palm tree in Hebrew. So there's a palm tree stamp in here, and I also signed it. Um, I am offering it tonight for um, both of my prints instead of $150, uh, $100. So uh, if you guys are interested, you're going to have to uh, let me know with the comments that you're interested. So there are two of them that are offered. Now, why do I do sailboats? Um, I grew up in Israel, as I said, and it's near the Mediterranean. And um, I love to sail. Uh, my dad built a boat, a sailboat. I sailed in Greece. I sailed in Turkey. Um, and uh, I sailed in the Caribbean after I moved to the United States. It's really where... My passion and my love is uh, what you see in this painting is uh, I did it in watercolor and uh, it was kind of a started with like a, a mistake that I worked, built on it and um, if you are if you ever been on a sailboat and when the ocean picks up and the wind picks up the clouds roll in um, you get that feeling of uh, I'm like you're very small compared to the environment so the person that's in this picture is pretty small compared to the sailboat you can see the splash in the water you can see the clouds getting dark and that's what this is this uh, painting is um, is about so again i'm offering two limited editions signed um they are a uh, hundred dollars instead of 150 and that in, that includes shipping okay so that is for this one so my second one number two to uh, pull it off the wall here. Um, this one is sold. It again, it is a congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I sold it just yesterday, um, but I just wanted to show you. Um, this is a watercolor, and it's called uh, Lambs Ears and Azaleas. Uh, I love to garden, and I have both of these in my yard. This is a uh, my number two, and yes, it is sold, but it is available uh, in print on my website, lemoredecal.com. Um, so um, this print or this painting uh, originated from a photograph that I took from my yard of uh, these two plants together, the lamb's ears that have a fuzzy texture and it's very structural uh, leaves against a background. Oops against the background of this, uh, the, the pink azaleas. So uh, I really love was, the softness in this piece. Yeah. Thank oh. you. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay. Um, so number three, I'm gonna take this off. One more, this, this one's one is, my favorite. Well, thank you, Beth. <laughs> okay, so this is an acrylic painting um, and it is framed ready to be hung on the wall. Uh, it has a floating uh, frame. I love the floating frames because you can mm, really see like that, that it is a that it is a um, a canvas. Okay, um, so this is ready to be to be hung again. It's got the frame attached and everything. And tonight I'm offering it for four hundred dollars instead of five hundred dollars, and that includes shipping. So it's only one, and it's first come first serve. And the story behind this, um, I just love that really, bold color. Was, <laughs> Sorry, I just um, do. I am not. I'm not really a bird person. I love birds, um, but I've decided I'm going to try a little different tactics. Um, like I said, I teach art, and I have to uh, accommodate all of my students' uh, desires and needs and wants. Uh, so I decided instead of um, starting with an image. Um, I decided to just simply start putting stuff on, on, on the canvas and to kind of go along with it. So I call this abstract birds because that's what it turned out. Again, what you're seeing is the relationship between the two birds, um, the colors, the texture, the form, the egg, and this, this eyes uh, peeking through. Uh, it was kind of a playful um, 
mis not mistake, but this is what happened when I just kind of put things up there. So I could see this is acrylic painting uh, on canvas. Okay, uh, so Laura, you have some comments coming through here. Marie says the, the colors are beautiful. She loves the eyes. And William said the eyes of the birds are evocative. Well, I guess uh, evocative in what way? <laughs> We'd love to hear. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys, uh, if anybody interested, just uh, let us know. And uh, it, at the end of the show, there's going to be a link that you can um, um, click to and, and purchase that. Again, this is uh, three hundred dollars instead. I'm sorry, four hundred dollars instead of five hundred tonight. Okay, uh, my last piece. Um, that is cyclamen. This is number four for tonight. Um, and again, it's an original watercolor. It is framed with a metal frame, um, ready to be hung. It's matted, okay? Uh, my signature is over here somewhere, okay? Um, and again, it's uh, one of a kind, uh, first come, first serve. It is 400 instead of 500, and it's including shipping. It, or it has a, a non-glare plexiglass as well. Now, the story behind this one, um, this flower, the cyclamen that I think in the United States, is, you can buy it in, in flower shop and so forth. In Israel, where I grew up, it grows wild. And mm. in the rainy season, in the winter, uh, it starts popping up everywhere. And Israel is usually a fairly dry country. So these things, uh, they just kind of come out between rocks and stuff like that. Uh, and I love them as a kid. I used to go hunt for um, the bulbs that they come from and just stick it in my yard and wait for it to grow. And they're so unique in the way they grow, they, they, the flowers are. It's like a little uh, crown. It's very dark pink and then it's kind of white and it's very, um, very light and airy. So that's why I painted the cyclamen. So uh, this one is also uh, available in prints, but tonight I'm selling my um, original and it's first come for surf. And these are four pieces that I have tonight. Um, and I just wanted to let you know also that I do um, commissions, I do portraits. I recently finished this uh, painting of, I hope you all recognize, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Um, my husband is a musician, so he loves Bruce Springsteen. He never stopped talking about it, been to his concerts, so did it for Father's Day. Prints are available, and this is uh, Little Richard. I uh, did that, so I did some other um, commissions uh, for, for friends, and also do dogs. If you guys are interested, you can go on my website and see my prices and contact me if you're interested. Um, are there any comments, questions? Um, Angry on the left, right, and goofy. Uh, okay, these are the eyes. Okay, got you. Thank you. Okay. So we're moving on to Tatiana, right? Yep. Here you go. Okay. So, hi, everyone. Um, I got to stand up now. So we've got four pieces today. Um, we're going to start with this one. So um, the four pieces that you're going to see are all words of art or word art. So I actually take the words and put them on the canvas and I just, I flip the letters, I write them, I put them every which way. I'll flip the canvas as I'm working and um, it just keeps growing from there and evolving from there. I add more lines and I kind of just have fun with it. And this particular piece is called Prove Them Wrong. Prove Them Wrong number two, I did a series of three of them and um, it's all black and white. So um, most of them I do the black and white. Let me give you a little backstory here. So this is something that I used to do in my sketchbook on a napkin in a bar restaurant. Um, it actually turned into someone's tattoo. Um, I stylized their name in this manner. And it, I never really put much thought into it. It's just what I doodled in my sketchbook. Um, and then about two years ago, like, why am I not doing these larger on canvas? So here we are, and this is what I've been doing on canvas for a couple of years. Um, so I have them in black and white, and I've also added color. You'll see some more of those. Um, so this one says, prove them wrong. I'm kind of at that point where I'm still trying to prove some people wrong that I can be an artist. I'm an art teacher too, but um, 
this is my true passion. And then, so what's interesting with these is this one's 15 by 30. It's normally 450 for the original. And um, tonight, selling it for 337 and 50 cents, including shipping. Um, but you'll see what I do along the edges is I actually write what it says. Two reasons. Um, one, <laughs> one, um, I forget what they say after a while. I cannot find all the letters. Um, so it helps remind me which one it is. Uh, but I also kind of like, I always put on the edges and finish the pieces. And as you, like you can see with this one here, I always complete, I like the gallery wrap. I like adding that to it. You don't have to worry about framing it. But this is kind of cool. It's just hanging and you can see what it says. So if you were to have a piece, um, thank you. If you were to have a piece commissioned, um, it could say whatever you want. It doesn't have to say what the painting actually says in the in the piece. It could say anything. <laughs> Thanks, Lydia. Trying and working hard. We're, we're proving them wrong, right, girl? So here's this one. So this is proven wrong. This one. It really is interesting, Tatiana. Thank you. One more. Okay, so this one says determination. Um, there we go. So when you're determined, you kind of fire. I love up. your choice of red. Thank you. You can kind of see, um, prove them wrong. I am determined to do so. So there is like a, there's a theme somewhat, but it doesn't just apply to me. It applies, these are universal, you know, thoughts and ideas. So, but when you're determined, you just, you just want to get it done. You're fired up. Like the five of us were determined to make this happen. And uh, we did, and here we are. So this one I also wrote along the side. Sometimes I flip the way that they're written. Um, sometimes they go around the whole way. And but it's it's every side. You can see the link in the um, in the comments. Every side here. So this one is twenty by twenty, and um, it's usually seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. I did a series of four of these. I'm not showcasing them all here tonight. Um, but tonight it is five hundred and forty-three and seventy-five cents, including shipping. Um, but I, I really like this one a lot. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? Um, Beth, was that you? You said you liked the colors. Um, I couldn't find my yellow paint. I couldn't find it. And I was like, I really wanted to paint and there's no store open at the time I decided to paint when the kids are asleep. So thanks, Marie. Uh, I do really like finishing the sides. Uh, so what I did was I did it without yellow. There is no yellow in this entire painting. So where's uh, the yellow coming from? So I have a cadmium orange, which is a very light, um orange and then i have this like flesh tone so i went with the pinks instead of the yellows so it's that that cadmium orange that gives oh. you that yellow like look and then it blends into this like pink flesh tone so there's absolutely no yellow in it at all which is cool a little hard to see but well you kind of gotta roll with the punches and and you know make it happen Determination. I right? stopped painting because I didn't have yellow. So now I move on to this guy. So put this one down here. Now this one also says something. This one says accept change. As we go through different things in our lives, we need to accept change. Things cannot stay the same. This one, the color choice was a little bit different than the other ones. Um, kind of got back into, so I went from the warm tones in um, determination to the purples and pinks and a little bit of green to get that contrast. Now this one in particular, I did not write the words on the edges. Um, I just painted it. I don't always feel that it's necessary. This one, I just, I just got into the colors and I wanted to continue the colors and I didn't want the words to take away from the colors. Um, but yeah, so I mean, some people really like to look hard. Oh, it says something. It's like a puzzle. Let me find it. Good luck. I don't know where they are anymore. Um, I can find the A in this one and one C. That's pretty much it. But um, it kind of just evolves and, and takes on another form of itself. And I just really play around with the shapes and the lines and I have a blast. Um, Oh, thank you. Gretchen said the color choice is so soothing. But that, I, sometimes it's subconscious, the color choice. Um, so with determination, 
you're on fire. You're you're moving. You're doing. You're you're going. Hence the warm colors. <clears throat> but when you're accepting change and you need to make a shift, if you're fired up, you're not going to accept the change. So hence why you need the calming, cooler colors. Tatiana, you're a teacher too, right? Yes, I am. I am an Does, artist. Do you do you feel that your uh, work is uh, influenced by your teaching? Um, do you mean my my personal work is it influenced by my teaching, or is yeah. my teaching you, influenced by my work? Vice versa. Yeah. Either way, I sometimes feel like my um, my students kind of trigger some ideas. Uh, sometimes. I, I feel, um, this one's really big. That's why it's hiding in the corner here. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. You could do that. Wow. Um, I do notice that I tend to do more abstracts with my students, um, which is like a, a direct correlation with um, what I like to create. So it kind of makes sense that I would do abstracts with them. Um, there we go. But yeah, it's, it's big. Now you, you get the full scope of it. This one's 48 by 60. And oh, I forgot to state the price. I'm sorry. So accept change over here is usually 2,900. But we're doing a nice sale. Today it's 2,100 and it's 40 by 30 inches. So back to Lamore's question real quick. I find that I tend to do more abstracts with my students because they don't feel as pressured to make it look perfect and it gives them more creative freedom. And they're always so hard on themselves that doing the abstracts kind of takes that pressure off most of the time. Um, so this piece was COVID inspired. It was inspired by the pandemic. Um, I've only done a couple since. I started it in March and it took just forever. I didn't have that, that push, that flow. I was kind of not depressed, but just didn't, the creative juices weren't there. Um, so this one says, out of the darkness, we shall rise. It's one of the longer ones that I've done with the words. Um, I'd have to go back and watch the time lapse to see where the letters actually are. But for this piece, I really wanted to feel, I wanted it to feel like it was that that bright explosion of, of color. And even though we are, we, you know, you go through dark times, you still come out bright. And I wanted to capture that, you know, these dark hues, but still coming out into these brighter tones. And I, I think I, I'm, I'm happy with this one. So this one, it is large. It's usually um, 5,040. Today it's 3,780, which is a steal, I think. Um, I really like this one. I'm really happy with how it came out. Did I miss any questions on there? Oh, see, that's the other thing. William said he sees a cute face on the right. Things pop out with the abstracts, which is what I like. And um, everyone kind of sees something different. Oh, thank you, Gretchen. Um, are we moving on? I can't hear. Okay, so I guess that's me. Yeah, Beth. Okay, I couldn't hear right. there. Sorry. Hi. All right. My first one is um, going to be the mission. And um, let me give you a little bit of background about me. Uh, aside from the fact that I am an artist, I am also a rocket scientist by day. And you're going to see a lot of this um, coming through my art. And this particular one, you can find it on my website, but I don't offer it in this format. And so, you know, it. I made this particular piece um, special for the um, GAO, the General Land Office here in Texas, where I'm from. And um, you'll see a lot of detail in it. And it's of a Texas mission. I had to get special permission to make this. It's not of the mission itself. It's of one of the side buildings. And it was a lot of fun. In order to do this, I mean, I had to go through more hoops than you could imagine to do this. And you're gonna see all the detail in it. Um, this is really literally one of a kind. I can, I do have prints on my website, like I said, 
but I, this is a gallery wrap. And I made it, like I said, just for um, the general land office. And um, this is it. I mean, I, I've only made like five prints in this format ever. It's limited edition, it's signed. And I'm offering it because of that just for $50. Um, because I do offer, you know, prints of it. Um, but this one, this one's really cool. I don't know, can anybody guess what mission this might be in Texas? It's pretty famous, but it's not of the mission itself. It's one of the side buildings. You're right, William, you got it. <sighs> it's the Alamo. So believe it or not, um, this particular one is actually of um, a side building of the Alamo. So you're right. Um, I love the texture. So the Alamo is copyrighted. You cannot make any image of the Alamo. They will not let you. Um, but this particular one, I I was able to get a, a one of way too low. Thanks. <laughs> I, appreciate I agree. That. I agree um, with him. So anyway, I've had this piece for a long time in my inventory, and I do need to get it moving. And so that's why I'm going ahead and I'm pricing it the way I'm pricing this gallery wrap. And so I hope somebody would be happy to, to give it a really good home. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so my next piece that I'm gonna be showing you is also a limited edition. And this one I don't offer anywhere else on my website. Most of my art is Texas themed, and that's what I do. This particular piece is really special to me. I made this piece when I was, believe it or not, on the back of an elephant in Nepal. So I was happened to be in Nepal for um, work, not as an artist, but for my rocket science day job. And I was speaking um, in Nepal to students. And what they, you know, what I was doing was trying to speak about education, about our trips to the moon, about, um, I had lent a lunar sample for display. And so um, I was there speaking a lot about that. And I had a couple of days off while I was there. And so I was on the back of an elephant taking a tour through the Chichuan Natural Forest in Nepal. And um, I had made so many friends amazing. in Nepal. It was wonderful. It was an amazing experience. But this probably was my favorite moment during the entire trip. So we're going through the forest. We come around a corner and we see a mm. mama rhin rhinoceros right there. <laughs> and right behind her that you cannot see is her baby. And yeah, so right back here, she's got a baby. And I have to tell you, my elephant was none too happy about this. And um, so being a mama herself, she trumpeted and we all went running the other way. And this is the only photo I got of this runoff. And by the way, this was taken, for those of you that know anything about camera lenses, this was taken with a 24 millimeter camera lens. This was not a telephoto lens. Wow, that's So she close. was right there. I mean, she was really close. This is on about a quarter inch canvas. So it would be really, really easy. Yeah, Rhino with attitude. You can see, so she's pursing her lips. You can see it. Um, she is unhappy. That look is the look of a mama that is ready to charge. She was not at all pleased. Um, it is ready to hang, so you can frame it. Um, it is finished on the back with ribbon. It's signed, it's numbered. It's, um, I've only ever made five prints of the whole thing, um, but only one ever on canvas. So it's super, super, yeah, you're right, Marie, super, super close. It was actually a really scary moment until I really thought about it. It does, you're right, it looks like a scene from Avatar. Um, it was intense and um, it just, the jungle was fabulous. I mean, it was that, it looks just like that. And it was that misty, This there's no nothing I added to this photo. This isn't Photoshop, this isn't, you know, in any way changed. This is just the way it looked. It was beautiful and stunning. And that Mama Rano was just that amazing. 
Um, so anyway, really it was one of my favorite moments. But like I said, I, really most of my photography on my site is Texas themed. We don't have rhinoceroses in Texas unless you go to the zoo. And so I am offering her um, today for $74.25, which is quite the steal, um, if you ask me. Okay. So that is my mama rhinoceros. And you're going to notice, like I said, a lot of detail in my prints. You know, in my day job, I spend all my time um, looking at the detail of my designs and of, I hate to say it, spreadsheets all day long, numbers. Um, everything is a process, everything. And so you see in my art a lot of detail coming out. You know, I just, I have a tendency to just really hone in on the structure of things. Like on the mission that we just looked at, you really see the, the structure of the mission. You see all the detail in the rock. You see all that. Same thing here. You see the detail in the rhinoceros' skin. You can see the pursing of her lips. You see the detail in the forest. It's just something that is really like specific to the way that I do my art. Thank you, William. I really appreciate that. Um, I really try to keep my prices competitive. One of my main goals in doing this is to bring photography and fine art photography to the masses. Um, I like to spread my art. It's something I really want to do. It's it's. I know how much it means to me to have a good piece of art in my home. And so I try really hard to keep my prices reasonable. Um, so I do offer my open prints for the most part at a pretty reasonable price. This is another piece. It's foggy morning. Here you go. And you can see this one's on acrylic. And this is another limited edition because again, most of my pieces are Texas. You can really see the acrylic, the, gl the gloss of it. And I just, I loved this piece on in a glossy acrylic because you can really see the light and the structure. This is, and th this is a World Heritage site with like three different World Heritage locations all in this one square. And it was just such a surreal moment to be out there. And it was just so, you know, light and airy and foggy and, you know, the people walking by, it was just such a beautiful moment. You can really, you can see, you know, the hanging mechanism for this is on rails because it's acrylic and it is a pretty substantial piece, pretty heavy. I normally would offer a piece like this um, for a lot more money than this. Um, it's Bremen, Germany. William, it's Bremen, Germany. Thank you. Yeah, it's very sharp. That's one of the reasons I love acrylic as one of my, my main mediums. Um, I even love it over metal for the most part because it is such a sharp medium to present um, my photography. And again, with my love of detail and, yeah. you know, it, it just provides such a lovely glow to um, lights, especially for warmth. Um, I really do enjoy putting my, my art onto acrylic for that reason. Um, so that is foggy morning and i just love bremen i mean it's from if anyone ever has a chance to go to see bremen it, it is your quintessential european city it is absolutely stunning it's a small town in germany and it is really really beautiful um and like i said there's essentially three world heritage sites in one square it's a really impressive thing to see for my last piece i I'm going to introduce a brand new piece. Oh, I can't now, wait to see this one. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I did not get my artist proof in in time for this piece. So what you're seeing is literally cutting edge, just about to show. It is, this is breaking news as far as I'm concerned. I'm doing something brand new that basically no one is doing. I am offering a print, a fine art print on gold metal. And so I am doing one of my most um, favorite pieces, which is Sam Bernard, um, the salt flats from Sam Bernard. I'm gonna turn my light here so that you don't see it as much. And you can see, 
Well, I don't know if that helped. Here. Oh. And it will be on gold metal. And so I'm going to normally be offering this limited edition print on gold metal for $1,200. Because it's a pre-order um, today, I'm offering just one at $900. Um, it, it will come with a certificate of authenticity. It will come with a brass plate on the back that will have the numbering. There will only ever be 50 printed on the gold metal. Um, it will come with special packaging um and among other things so it's going to be quite an experience to be able to order this piece so um today it's because because that piece didn't come in and it's this is a pre-order i'm going to offer it for 900. so that is what i have today well thanks so on to the next Okay, um, Katie, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Hi, I'm Katie. This is um, my martial arts series is what I'm showcasing. I'm just holding a small one up right now. There were originally 21 of these uh, martial arts paintings done. So to do these, what I did was I got with a martial artist. Uh, this one was Nathan Perry and he went through his movements and I photographed um, I photographed, I just snapped as many pictures as I could. And then I sat down with him and we went through the, all the photographs and he told me which ones, you know, were the best um, indications of the form and the movements of the martial arts he was practicing. He did uh, mixed martial arts, so there, it's not a particular style in these, it's mixed martial arts. And um, let me show you the first one I have for sale today. This is wind, and these are uh, these are oil paintings. I start the painting with acrylic, and then um, I go over it with oils after that. And they're also highly textured. This one doesn't have a whole lot of texture on it, but you can see there's a little bit. Um, I used a, a heavy texture paste that I put on the paintings after I, I put the body on there, the form, after I drew his uh, his movement, I, I added texture all over the, to, to try and, um, I was trying to create, I was, I was trying to create a difference between the substance of the form and the atmosphere he was in. So I was really trying to capture a difference between um, the, the atmosphere and moving in the atmosphere and then the form itself, like the solid body. So this is when we bring it. Oops, you froze. Oh. Okay, she froze. Technical difficulties. Okay. Here we go. My back? Yes. You're back. Yeah. Back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So all yeah. these paintings in the series are coated with art resin. Art resin is UV resistant, it's non-yellowing, and you can clean these. These are oil paintings you can clean with glass cleaner, like if you want to. Um, it's it really protects the piece and it has a it has an amazing transparency and gloss. It's it's really a great it's a great product. I love art resin. Um, so this is wind. This is normally $4 a square inch is what I charge for my work. So that would put this one at 1,280. But today it is 960. So wind, okay. This is water. Try and scope it. No, 15 is more. She was on fire. So water is at four dollars a square inch is normally one thousand six hundred, but today you can save four hundred dollars. You can get it for one thousand two hundred. 
and I'm looking to continue this series. I would like to work with more martial artists to do different styles and particular styles. So if there's any martial artists watching who are interested in working with me to do that, give me a holler. This one is fire. This is the same size and same price as water. So you can save $400 buying it today with my sale. And this hey, one can, has, you, can you hold yeah? it back just there like that? That's perfect because it's hard to see all there. Ready? Perfect, perfect. Because you can't see all the detail and yeah. texture in the flames. That came out That's really very cool. Very powerful. I really like that one. Thanks. Why does it not see his face? I knew that question was going to come up. <laughs> and some of them, I, I made the face dark. I blacked it out. And when I did that, it totally changed the piece. It made it more mysterious. And, and it gave it a, you know, psychologically not seeing the face. I don't know what that means. So I subconsciously, I did it. It was a subconscious thing that I did when I blacked out some of the faces. Not all of them are like, but this one has the face still. Um, but in a few of them, I blacked out the face and put like a abstract mask over it. And it, I think it emphasizes the movement of the body. It can also, uh, you can put anybody's face on it. You can imagine who it might be. It yeah. Be a specific person. This is another one where the face is hidden. Oh, let me get back a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Right there. So this one is called Rip. And it's... Um, it's regularly $2,304 at $4 a square inch. Today it's $1,728. And again, it's coated with art resin, which is the gloss that you see. And it's oil on canvas. Thank you. Let me, uh, let me see if there's any comments or questions. We good? So now it's my turn? Yes, yeah. Kim, all you. It's Kim. Okay. Um, I am a watercolor artist and I do a lot of emphasis and work with the media. Um, in this particular series, I was exploring watercolor and I was. Um, I'm. I was exploring watercolor and um, it, how it worked on texture gesso, and that's not a normal thing. So I like to do that. I'm moving the camera because these pieces are in multiple panels and it makes it difficult to um, bring it to the camera. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with the um, Three or four by four inches each. Um, Kim, you're breaking up just a little. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm, this is the Amber Leopard, and um, it is. It works out to be about twelve inches by twelve inches, and um, I am resurrecting this this series, this style. I'm going to revisit it and produce more pieces. This is a study, so it's small. I have a larger piece, um, but this piece here is, is to square. I'm selling it for $120, and it is not available anywhere else. Um, can you find the piece that's there? Um, but, yeah. I want to show you what this looks like. So here we have one of the panels. This is, this is an antelope that I did, and you can see that it's on uh, four a texture a gesso to it and then I textured it with a, a palette knife I let that dry then I do the watercolor over the top of it um, as you can see they, they 
So that one is $120. Um, the next piece is the clouded leopard. And the clouded leopard, um, let me see, you read that. This one sold uh, on Monday. Um, it is, it's got a six by inch square and then two four by four inch squares. So it works out to be about 12 inches by 18 inches. Um, I am going to do prints of these. So if anybody's interested in the prints, if they sell out, this one was uh, $170. Um, and you can see the texture. In the detail, you can see the eyes, and you can see the texture, how the pigment of the watercolor seeps into the detail, into the texture of the, the gesso. Um, the texture on those are beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's harder to get texture on these small ones. Let's just see the next one. The next one um, is one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to turn the corner here. And this is my Sumatran fiber. Little quickly, but you get the idea. Um, the Sumatran tiger. Uh, every subspecies of tiger is in danger. This is a Sumatran tiger. Um, you can tell he's got a blep. Everybody knows what a blep is, and you can see it. Uh, pet with their tongue sticking out. It's, there you go. So even even these guys do it. Um, this is three pieces. This piece, I'm going to get really close so you can see the texture. Um, now these are sealed on top of it. So um, I have to seal it because the watercolor sits on the surface. And that doesn't work. Now, did you, uh, quick question here. So these are watercolor paintings. Now, usually yep. watercolor, for anyone non-artists watching, usually watercolor is done on paper. Paper. So it I is. am fascinated by this. So could you talk about that for a second? Well, you know, I'm not one to follow rules and I like to explore different things. And I saw, I saw an opportunity to explore. And, and like, honestly, the first piece I did was a seven piece compilation of a chameleon that ended up being eight foot by nine foot. This chameleon was huge. Um, and the texture on it, I just, I loved it. And, and I needed to do endangered species because if you look at these, the whole animal's not there. Part of it. Is um, oh, you broke up so a you, little the, bit. The whole animal's not there. The, the whole animal isn't there. You're missing pieces. It kind of uh, replicates what's happening to it in in real life. So this piece is works out to be about 24 inches by 24 inches. And I've got it priced at $900. That's a steal, so, Kim, for meaningful. It's, it's, you know, I really enjoy this, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all of the pieces I have like this up. I have a dwarf, I have an otter, I have an amur leopard a piece like this. It's a big amur leopard. Um, but here's here's the next piece. Now, this is sad. This is sad because this guy's actually gone. This is a black rhino. And it is, oh, there we go, five pieces. And overall, it is uh, 45 inches by 30 inches. And, you know, if you get close up on this one, I'm, I'm limited by my, <laughs> my but if you, if you get up close to this one, you can really see the texture I managed to get in that with the, with the gesso. It's now, amazing with the water color that you can do that much texture. It's really beautiful. Well, you're, you're doing the texture before you're applying the paint. So, so you end up with the paint sinking down into the crevices of the, of the texture, which is really, really interesting. You get dark spots and light spots. You can see how it, it like really seeps into the, 
into the, the like you the, are the artist, but you're kind of letting the paint do its work too, which is pretty cool. Right. Yeah. And the thing Beautiful about this is that, is that you really need to. I'm going to set this down here. Um, that piece I'm 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 selling for fifteen ninety, one thousand five hundred and ninety. Um, honestly, when these pieces get uh, pushed to my website, they're going to be significantly higher. This is kind of an intro to the moment. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of things. This is um, this is what the profile looks like on these bigger pieces. They're two inches deep. They have a nice big thick cradle with the masonite attached to the to the to the frame, and they're hung with two penny nails. Now you're going to think, gosh, these are going to be really hard to hang. Get making sure that the spacing is right and everything. Mm -hmm. I got you covered. This comes with it. Oh, look at that! It's like a map. It's a map. And it very has, cool. Very cool. It has um, a level line. The level line is drawn. Everything is parallel or perpendicular to that line. And literally, you nail this to the wall. You nail this to the wall with two penny nails. And or and you know you tape it with at first with, you know with tape to make sure it's level, and then you nail you nail nails through the. The holes that are indicated that's and so convenient you pull this off and literally you hang the pieces on the nails um I it's very helpful a lot of people would find that really intimidating i can't hang that piece it's not all the same line but that that just makes it so much easier right and my pieces don't line up this, this one happens to line up but uh um so there is there is that um Assembly instructions, yes, I have. I have included assembly instructions. Um, okay. So that is our show. Um, we are planning. Let me let me bring everybody up. There we go. So now the thought is this show is going to remain up we're going to promote it over the next couple of weeks and you know we'll probably do another live towards the end of the show kind of you know reminding everybody here's what's left and, and uh, you know wind, we're winding the show down last chance um how do you guys think this went not bad i think, I, I think <laughs> we did great yeah we we Turned it right in in an hour. <laughs> yeah, we're still on. We had a, we had some technical difficulties in the beginning, but I think we pulled through. Yes, yes. Yeah, any any more comments time. coming in? Um, I am. Oh, thanks, Gretchen. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you, thank you so much for. Thanks, for, Marie. For thanks, Elizabeth. This is great. Yeah, thanks everyone that was here. Okay, so are we ready to end the broadcast? Thank you for joining us. Thank you everybody for watching. Yeah, you're you're welcome. Okay, tomorrow. Liz, Liz uh, Ann, she bought the painting, one of my paintings. Oh, yay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us, Liz. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, All guys. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.